cracking YouTube welcome back to Myers two-stroke RC garage and today guys today we got the uh, Punisher down on the ground with the Taylor 35 in it and uh, we're out here at the fairgrounds and uh, what I want to do is I want to uh, see if I can get this thing uh, tuned a little bit and see if I can get the tune on I was messing with it a little bit in the backyard and I figured what the heck we may as well go to the fairgrounds uh, it's a pretty nice day the the clouds are kind of doing a weird thing right now this well the sun's covered up so that's why it's not sunny but anyways um and here i think the sun's gonna start coming out but uh anyways i thought it was a nice day we may as well uh take it down down to the fair fairgrounds and get her opened up so we'll see what this uh punisher taylor 35 cc uh version one read engine <laughs> punisher does <laughs> that's a mouthful but anyways yeah, we took the old Punisher, and uh, in my live, what we did was uh, we put this engine in where we started to, anyways, until I started having some, you know, some hiccups with the brakes and stuff like that. And I got that all taken care of um, and got everything else mounted in there. And uh, so we're going to take it out for a rip and see what it's like. So uh, stay tuned, and I'll be right back, and uh, I'll get it fired up and get you guys on my head. You know, I still haven't been able to get rid of that flutter on the upper end.
turn the idle up some more. I just can't get it to, to idle. Let's see what that does. See, then it does, it's doing that. Uh, yeah, see, I'm not doing that, guys. That. <laughs> didn't miss a beat that time. I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to uh oh it killed out on me I'm going to uh, swap out carburetors is what I'm going to do next to try to get rid of that flutter it keeps fluttering I don't know there's got to be something wrong with the carburetor some ventries being plugged or something but uh yeah it killed out on us See, I'm not letting off the throttle there, guys. Somebody else is having an issue with it, too. I can't remember who it was. So, I think something's wrong with the carburetor. Cause it won't idle. Yeah, it sounds like I'm letting off the throttle. <laughs> I had it pinned the whole time. Wow, guys. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. That, I'm, I'm gonna switch out the carburetor on that and uh, see what happens when I switch out carburetors because I do have a, a reed cage for a smaller carburetor. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to change the reed cage 
for the bigger WJ71. I, I don't know. There's there's something wrong with that. I'll, I'm going to pull that carburetor off and probably take it apart and see what's inside of it and see what's wrong with it. And I'm probably going to make a video on it as well. And then um, what I'll do in the meantime is I'm going to stick another one. I'll stick a different one on there, like a, I don't know, something different. I might even order one. Um, like one of them newer ones with the spiral diaphragm from uh, Mike Taylor or uh, John at Detroit Performance. So, um, yeah, anyways, guys, pretty decent, pretty decent rip. Um, still kind of disappointed I couldn't get the tune set straight on it and couldn't get that figured out. I, and there might be something, you know, maybe the intake's leaking or something like that. But, uh, yeah, it won't idle. It's having a hard time holding a tune, and it never was like that. Uh, I mean, it wasn't even like that when it was in the rooster. I mean, it ran pretty good in, when, in the rooster um, for the most part. But, uh, yeah, ever since I put it in the Vesla, it's just mm -hmm. not been happy. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to go back to the drawing table with this machine, and we'll see what's happening with it. And uh, If you guys like the video, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And... Don't forget, we will see you in the next one.